Hi, Jason from the 12 volt shed. Here to talk to you about low voltage protection. One of the things with most batteries on the market, if you your lead acid types at least, uh, I won't speak for the, for the lithiums of this world because they've got inbuilt protection, but your traditional lead acid battery really doesn't like to be run down too low. Uh, there's a lot of conjecture in the industry. I'm sure if you lined up 10 experts and asked them all, what is a safe low voltage disconnect? you may get three or four different answers out of those 10 people. But um, I always say, uh, look in the user manual for the battery, because that will be the actual source of the information you need, not experts, supposed experts like me. Always, always download the user manual with your battery and have a look at that, that, that point that they say is, is a safe low, low point. So uh, a battery has an a, an actual capacity and a rated capacity. So if I've got a 100 amp battery, for example, it's typically at C20 or, or a timed rate. So that tells me that if I divide the time into the amperage, so a 100 amp battery at C20, give me five amps. That tells me that that battery has been designed to discharge five amps for 20 hours until it's the international standard for dead was 10.5. But the user manual might tell you that you shouldn't take that battery below 11.5 or 11.8. So there are products on the market that you can purchase that will help you protect your battery. A battery is one of those investments that you don't want to have to replace a battery bank regularly because they, they can be expensive. Little products, and this one happens to be made by, uh, by Bone Tech. Um, there are a variety of different products on the market that you can you can purchase, but it's essentially a low voltage disconnect. Um, with the Bone Tech one, you you take the top off and you've got little switches you can select the different low voltage points. Um, I always say 11.8, 11 and a half is probably as low as I'd ever go. But again, refer to your user manual. Um, essentially, it will monitor that battery voltage. It's a little relay inside with a couple of terminals. And when you get to that point, it will disconnect your load from the battery to prevent you over discharging the battery. Probably one of the most common areas that I find in recreational applications where these are desperately needed and very rarely installed is on three-way fridges. A three-way fridge has normally got a mains, gas and 12 volt setting on the selector. When you move that selector around to 12 volts, depending on the age of the fridge and depending on the model of the fridge, I have seen some of those older fridges pull 26 amps, but most of the new style fridges will pull somewhere between 10 and 12 amps continuous. Now, if you've got a 100 amp battery and you only want to take 50, 60 amps out of it, you've got five or six hours worth of, of load at that rate, rough figures, before you need to disconnect it. And those fridges will actually run, they run a little heater element. Uh, it's a static load on the battery. So it'll just run that battery to absolute zero, um, which is really not good for your battery. That heavily sulfates a, uh, a lead acid type battery. And um, that's really not great. So I always recommend the purchase of one of these and a little bit of time to wire it up Again, seek a professional's advice if you're not confident, but definitely keep a low voltage disconnect in mind to protect that battery, protect your investment. Thanks for your time.